Hi everyone, Mike Moo here. Amazon Astro is a household robot for home monitor with Alexa. I see that they've completely changed the description now. Now it's focused on home monitoring. And I have to agree, that is one of the most important things that I have Amazon Astro around for. And now I see that the price is now up to $1,599.99 or $1,600. And now it only includes 30-day trial of Ring Tech Pro. Now, since Amazon Astro has been out for so long, I feel like it's starting to get a little bit out of the beta period. However, the people like me who have had Astro since really early on, I think they started out shipping summer or late summer or early fall last year, we've had to go through a bunch of issues well, some of us have myself included definitely have some issues about but we'll go over some of these things that you know a bit and i'll probably do a different video about some of those issues i also have some links some of the videos where i've talked about the issues i've had with amazon astro and it's all culminated into today which is the day where they are replacing my amazon astro i have had no issues or mechanical issues i see that there have been people who have had some mechanical issues with their Amazon Astro, and I have not had any of those issues with mine at all, as far as I can tell. But the things that I had issues were appear to be software related, but I could be wrong. It's gotten to the point where they decided they're just sending me a replacement. All right, Astro right now is still invitation only. If you are interested in getting an Amazon Astro, you're going to want to put your reservation down. And I had put one down below. This is what I'll say. Thank you for your request. If invited, we'll email you in the coming months. They are definitely limited quantity. Not all requests will be granted. So I was lucky enough to have one since September. The configuration that I chose was the device only, right? So let's go over some of these things. You should know this is day one editions, meaning you're going to be the first to access some of the innovations from Amazon if you do get chosen or invited to try one. And I've adopted Astro, and he is now basically a family member that we've had in our household since September. So let's go over some of these details about how they're marketing the Amazon Astro now. Number one, keep home closer. Meet Astro, the household robot for home monitoring with a word, 100%. I think that is one of the big wins for Astro is that I have home monitoring. Uh, when we go out, I just feel a lot more comfortable having a guard dog watching. That is the Astro, right? Producing intelligent motion uses advanced Navigation technology find its way around a home and go where you need it. When you're not using Astro Hangout, close by at the ready. This is true. The navigation technology is decent. I think that there could definitely be some improvements. I've had issues that where Astro would not be able to find its way around in our complicated maze of the house sometimes. And it's not as smart as a biological dog. Right, the dog's going to be able to know how to navigate around certain things. Astro definitely is not quite there. But seeing that they are one of the very few really at-home robots of its size for this price range, it's pretty good. It's intelligent but stupid at the same time. Let's just put it that way. For this, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Intelligent motion for us. So an example of this is in the path that Astro takes to go somewhere, when you first give it a home tour or when it first, is, first does the tour around your home, that's where it routes how it gets around your house, right? Now, if there is an object in the way, let's say like shoes suddenly show up there, Astro may or may not attempt to go over them rather than go around them or figure out a way around the shoes if there's space around it to go around the object. And this is, I think, mostly because this is like in a smaller space. So if you live in a really big home, a lot of open spaces, Astro probably has some space to go around it. But over here, even though I can physically see that Astro can go around something, it's not smart enough to know how to do that. All right. That's why I give it a four out of a 10. All right. Stay connected from anywhere. Remotely send Astro to check on specific rooms, people, or things. Plus, get alerts if Astro detects an unrecognized person or certain sounds when you're, when you're far away. All right. This is actually really good. First part anyways. So I can send Astro to go to any specific room via the app. I could just open up the app, start the live view, tell it to go to any number of spaces and spots in the house with any pre-configured that I choose to configure viewpoints. If I want to check on a stove, 
I have a viewpoint set. I can have it go check on a stove to make sure that no one left anything on. There is no robot out there in anywhere near this price range that is meant for the household that can do that other than Astro. So for that, they get a 10 out of a 10. 100% works very well. Now, as far as it getting alerts when it recognize, detects an unrecognized person, it's not so smart. I th Hopefully this gets a little bit smarter. Right now, it's really not that smart. And I'll give you an example of that. There is a coat rack that we have with coats on. It, it Astro completely thinks that the coat rack is an unrecognizable person. Why? Because it has the shape of a person with the coats around it, right? And then I have a bike helmet on top. Astro can't tell. It just can't tell at this point in time. Maybe in the future they add some AI in there. But for now, there isn't a way for you to go in there and say, look, that's a coat rack. Please stop recognizing the coat rack. All right. Now, certain sounds, it's actually very sensitive. We have Astro normally parked right at the entryway. Now, anytime someone comes by or come, comes close to the home, it'll make a sound. And you can actually set it to some barking sounds. If you, so we know this works 100%, works really well. We don't have much crime where we're at, Sunnyvale. But if we did, it'd be good to know. And then, of course, if it detects an unrecognized person, Astro will actually take a photo or a video snapshot and send it right over to you, let you know. So that's pretty awesome. You can just check it on logs. All right, Ring Protect Pro subscription. I think this is something that people should get if they want the active home monitoring. It's going to cost you extra. They gave us, I believe, six months free included for beta testing this. And I just say that because I've had Astro for almost six months now, and I'm getting close to the end of the trial. Most likely, I am going to subscribe. Why? Because we have Ring Alarm Systems around. Ring Protect Pro, Ring Cameras, everything's all covered. So with this, what it will do with Astro specifically is Astro can proactively patrol your house, right? 100% it does this. I think when we're away, we have it set so that it patrols the house once an hour. That's presuming nothing. It detects nothing. Nothing's going on. There's no alerts from cameras, etc. And it would investigate the activity for you and record the whole thing. You can go back, look at a log to see, hey, you know, what happened in a patrol? Did it find anything? Can you see anything unusual? And it will sound its own little alarm if it does. All right. And to save videos and rings cloud storage for up to 180 days and more, 100% true. I'm a big ring user right now and having one subscription that can record all our cameras is awesome. And we pay for that privilege and I'm gladly happy to pay for that just for peace of mind. Alexa Together subscription, all right? Remotely care for aged loved ones, giving you peace of mind while helping them live independently. I think this is a big one, and I can see how this is really helpful. You can do Alexa Together subscription with just an Amazon Echo device. Yes, you can. However, with the Astro, you can actually have it locate people, find people, send them reminders. Right, so you can set up reminders, manage shopping lists, receive activity alerts, and more. Now, I'm not so sure how useful managing shopping lists is going to be, but that's primarily because my parents don't speak English, and Amazon's Astro does not speak Chinese at this point. So I can receive activity alerts. There was actually this thing where in when I was playing a movie, it inadvertently said it wanted to call 911. It actually did ask if I want to call 911. I said no, and then it proceeded to contact my emergency list to let them know that there was something wrong. That was completely by mistake. It only happened once out of all this time that I've had Amazon's Echo devices around the house. I don't know. There was a TV show that sort of triggered it, so just beware. But having this Alexa Together subscription included with this whole, I can see could be a really huge benefit for those of us who have to take care of our, our aging parents or our aging grandparents, or just anybody, any family member to check up on them. And that is really key and really amazing because you can do this with this robot. So I think 100%, if there's anyone that I recommend someone, an Astro robot, it's for these two scenarios. The proactive patrol is not as important, I feel, as having being able to check on your loved ones. And I think that is, is number one thing for that works very well as long as you are with using the app. It's just the Astro app on your smartphone. If you're not capable of doing that, this will probably not work out as well for 
Now, at the same time, you could also use an echo device to check in the video call and voice, but you can actually have Astro go and find someone and locate someone based on their facial recognition and features. And that's not something you can do with an echo device unless you keep one in every house and then jump from one to the other. I think Astro really does a great job with that. Put Alexa in motion. Yes, I agree. Make can follow you with entertainment. I've done that. I do that in mornings. I have it play the news for me and follow me around. Weather regularly, follow me around. Sometimes I'll have it play videos and follow me around. One thing that I don't do as much with entertainment is play games on it. That my nephews love playing with Astro. They just like to play the games there. I don't know. There's new games on there all the time and they just like it. I'm not talking about touchscreen. These are ones where, where they played with other people guessing like songs and stuff. But kids are really fascinated, happy playing around with Astro. I don't know what else I can tell you about that other than that's the case. One other thing about that though, this goes back into the navigation of Astro. So the kids don't know how necessarily to get Astro to follow them around. So they'll often pick up Astro and move around to somewhere they find convenient. And after you put them down, it's Astro's not as smart figuring out where, it's it, it, where it is sometimes. So sometimes it just completely gets locked where they get put in a spot where they can't get out of. And so that's why, that's why I gave the naviga advanced navigation technology like a four out of a 10. All right, designed to protect your privacy. Turn off mics, cameras, and motion one press of a button and use Astro app to set out boundary zones to let Astro know when it's not allowed to go. I have a feeling that if you are really concerned about privacy, you're not going to get one. And I'm going to 100% agree with that because let's face it, it's a walking talking Amazon Echo device. Two are fused together in a weird way. Astro handles the ability portion of it, and then the A word handles the rest. It really does. So you are concerned about privacy. I feel like a lot of people should be concerned about privacy or in some ways than others. Astro isn't for you. Just put that right now. But you can turn off the mics. You can turn off the cameras. You press a little button and Astro lets you know that it basically shut those sensors off. But then now it just becomes a really expensive paperweight. So then what's the point? See what I'm talking about here? If we're going to do that, might as well just get Echo devices. It's way cheaper. Way better ways to spend $1,600. All right, accessorize your Astro. You can carry a variety of accessories sold separately, like a Ziploc container, Big Whoop, Omron blood pressure monitor. I could see how that's useful. Herbal dog camera that tosses treats to your pet. I can see how that's useful as well. You can also dress up Astro with a skin wheel cow. Right. I didn't do that. I figured, yeah, you can do things to Astro, make him look cooler. And I'm sure that third parties are going to come along and make some other cool cows as well. Actually, the only thing I've ever used on there is just to keep my medications in the back of Astro. So one really great thing for, care, for caring for loved ones and aged loved ones as well is taking medications and getting them to you. So I can set, and I've done this for a little bit, I can ask Astro to remind me every day at a certain time to take my meds, take my vitamins, whatever. And I can have that, I can have Astro just come and find me and remind me to take my meds. Then I can just proceed to reach behind Astro, pick up the meds, take them. It's great. I don't think there's, a, there's that, that's basically what a caretaker, what a caretaker does for your aging loved ones. Make sure that they take their meds as prescribed when they're supposed to take them and remember to take them. This kind of helps with that. I just keep the meds in the back of Astro. There's a nice little area where, where you can put stuff and I just put my vitamins and stuff there. So because of that, I almost never forget to take them because Astro will come find me and remind me. It will actually go and locate me because I can say, hey, find me and it knows who I am based on facial recognition to, to take it. So those are some really good things about Astro, right? Not so good. Right, Astro can't go up or down the stairs. Astro gets lost often. Battery life is not that great. So it's going to have to spend a lot of time on a charger or close to the charger. That's something you need to know. It will, sometimes it'll get lost around the house for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. It will sometimes set off alarm systems because it's moving around. And if you don't set up your alarm system in like a pet mode, Astro could set it off. So I've definitely had some false alarms before. I have had Astro malfunctions where it will just come off the dock and suddenly just shut down. 
All right. So the so these are the issues that I'm having with Astro. I did some videos on already that that caused them to send out a new Astro to. Me. I've submitted evidence, video evidence. I've submitted logs so that so that the team can go ahead and see what's going on. and kept logs as well. And one of the most annoying things right now that Astro does is it will stay on a charger, get up to 100%, disconnect from the charger, as in it'll just stop charging and then it'll connect right away. And then it just does this in an endless loop, making sounds as it's doing it. Because every time it gets back on a charger, it makes a little sound, confirmation beep. And the speakers on Astro are amazing. They really are. So this is a good music playback device, entertainment device because of the speakers alone. I think they're pretty awesome. But so that that's the most annoying thing that I've had with, with Astro so far. Uh, the other thing I have is that it just keeps coming off the dock, doing a self-check. And then the other final thing from today is that I find that Astro will just come off the dock and just shut down. So I can't say that Astro is very reliable as far as a home monitoring device. It's nice to know that it's there, but if it gets stuck somewhere, shuts down somewhere, there's no way for it to do a complete reset and be able to get back to the dock especially if the battery life is not super great. And I wish that they would be able to adjust the battery life better. Now, I know that iFixit did a complete teardown of the Astro, and I think you should check it out. You could see that there's a lot of technology going on in there and a lot of good design going on in there, but at the same time, I'm still having some issues with it. This Periscope camera is very helpful in checking up on things that are at least counter height. I wish that the screen can go up too. Obviously not in this version of it. I also wish that the, the tray can go up too. So I think in some of the advertising, it showed Astro going around and delivering like a drink to someone. Honestly, I've never used that feature. I've used it maybe once or twice in the first two months. And the reason for that is that when it brings it to someone, usually that someone needs to come out of whatever the chair or walk over and pick up the drink. And let's face it, my wife's not going to do that. Especially if she's in a Zoom call or something. She's not going to get out. Astro doesn't get close enough to you to be able to reach over real easily without interrupting what it is that you might be doing in order to get what you need to get. I, th I think that's one of the things. But sure, it's way easier than getting up and going over to wherever to get the item. So if someone sends an item to you, reach over, you're within a step or two. But frankly, it's just when it comes down to that, I might as well just bring stuff over uh, to my wife. Just place it for her on the table. That's less disruptive. We'll put it that way. But I can see how if you live in a really large house and it takes you a minute or two to get from one side to the other, and I know there's people who live like that because my brother used to rent from one of those mansions here in Silicon Valley. Yeah, this could be great. Uh, rather than spending your time walking around all, all over the place, this can, if only you can do stairs, this can actually deliver things to people right now. I just use it to regularly deliver my vitamins and stuff to me once a day. So that's pretty useful. I could also have it rec remind me to do blood pressure checks. That's also something that's more important now at my age. And I have done that as well. Just generally, it's just, I just have it find me to give me my vitamins. So here are some differences between what is included with Astro itself and what you get with the Ring Protect Pro subscription. All right, 180 days video history, scheduled auto autonomous patrols. You can configure Astro investigate detected events, and you can save video from your investigations in Ring's cloud storage. Not bad. Now, if you use Alexa Guard with Astro, you can do the call the emergency helpline hands free with the Pro plan. You can get smart alerts for activity sounds and smart alerts is like if someone breaks a window, tries to break in or someone jiggling the doorknob, it'll sound dogs barking on Astro when motion is detected outside. This is true. Very effective works. Sounds a siren on Astro when activity is detected inside. Yes, this does do that. And it's not so alarming like a regular alarm, but it definitely sounds an alert that would hear if you were inside the house at the same time. Let's say that you are, let's say you live in a mansion. Let's stay away from mansion. Let's say you live in a two-story house. You spend most of your time upstairs, but there's downstairs, no one's there. So you ask Astro to patrol the area downstairs just because you do that. 
Now, if Astro detects something weird or a person it doesn't recognize, right, it will sound an alarm and you hear it. That's pretty cool. One of the most frustrating things that I've had to do with resetting Astro with this whole trial period is having to do a complete reset because when you do a complete reset, you have to teach Astro everything over again. It doesn't save any other of the information such as recognize faces, the layout of your home, etc. It just simply doesn't do that. So you often have to go back to every family member, have them train on voice and also the facial recognition so that it doesn't detect the person that is living there with you as a stranger and then sound the alarm. So that's that part has got a bit annoying during this trial beta period. I'm sure they have this all figured out by now because it's we're over six months. All right, so coming soon, Alexa Together is a new way to remotely care for aged loved ones. Alexa, stop. We already went over this. Apparently that's coming. Get your favorite features like news, entertainment, routines delivered right to you. True. This thing, again, I've only used once or twice. What is this guy doing? This guy looks like he's leaving. Yeah, he's leaving and he's going to close the door. So unfortunately, Astro's not smart enough to move out of the way. You can Actually, you can just say Astro's back up and then close the door. Fine. I think the idea here is that there's going to be home monitoring when you're out. And this is cool because you can be this person. And I am often this person when I'm outside the house and my wife is working inside and I'm checking up on her because I'm the only one that will use the app. That's great. So you can have him call mom. You can do that. So as you're leaving, remind Lucas to take the trash out. That's cool. Bring you something like a beverage. Yes, it's all true and stuff that some of the I've used beverage things I've only used a couple of times. I haven't done it after that because Astro can't open doors and Astro cannot hand you a drink to your hands. You can check on your pets. So if you are a pet owner and your pet won't get freaked out by this device, I think this is really good because being able to remotely check on your pets is awesome. However, if your pet is going to bite Astro and tear it, rip it apart, not so good. That's $1,600 lost. You can receive video clips when your pet is detected. I agree. Home monitoring alerts. Big. I think the biggest reason that we keep Astro around. This and also being able to remotely check in. I'm the only one that remote checks in on here. I think this is pretty amazing. The privacy, that is the button. Enjoy. Find out of boundary zones. That's fine. This is neat, I guess. It'll pop out treats to your dog. Ziploc storage container. It's just basically a container that fits exactly in there. Wrist blood pressure monitor. Oh, great. Technical details and specifications. I didn't have any issues with any of the hardware, thankfully. I have any issues whatsoever. Periodically, I need to wipe the sensors a little bit clean. I think that might help a little bit. But yeah, no issues whatsoever with it. I will say that on wood floor, this slides around sometimes. You just got to clean out the base a little bit. Maybe putting a little bit of tape on the bottom might be helpful. But yeah, I didn't have any issues whatsoever. With this. Connection's good. Connectivity's good. I would recommend getting a, an extended warranty on this. So if I were to go back, I'd get the extended warranty from Score Trade. I think I will do that actually with my replacement. Because is this expensive? Not suitable for use around children under three years of age or small pets. Yeah, that's a lot about Astro. Now, the question here is... No one's allowed to leave a review on here. Interesting. Well, I don't know if I noticed this last time. Either that or they changed it. Not allowed to leave a review. And you're not allowed to ask questions on a page. That is very interesting. I was going to answer some frequently asked questions on here if I could. But uh, let me see if there's... Check out the tricks. Astro exclusives. Yes. 100% yes. Check in your home from anywhere. Great. Astro's fun personality. I would say no. That is a no from me. I don't think Astro has a very fun personality. No more than I think that Echo devices have a fun personality. But the kids think Astro has a fun personality. So, so they show the kids here. I think it's really about the kids. Just where Astro hangs out. Check create out of bounds. Edit the map of your home. This whole mapping thing, right now, it's only good for putting boundaries. Unfortunately, I can't draw in a space and tell Astro, look, this is what this is. All right. No, for now, it's just about editing boundaries and walls. I can't add spaces. That is too bad. And you can't even do it. Yeah, I even tried to delete the map and re-add one. I can do it. I had to reset the whole entire Astro. So hopefully they fix this. Uh, I haven't tested it out in the past three months to see if they fixed this, but I found that very annoying. And I don't think they should call it editing the map of your home so much as setting boundaries.
speak with anyone near Astro. Yes, I do that all the time. A lot easier for me to communicate with my wife using Astro. Raise the periscope camera. Yes, I do that. Control live view and movement from anywhere. I also do that. Unfortunately, controlling the movement from location to location while using on-screen remote controls, not so great. Not so great. Does I give it a I'll give it a five out of ten. Set viewpoints, this works really good. Basically, you can tell Astro to go anywhere, and depending on wherever it is, you can save that exact viewpoint with your camera setting at a certain level, and you can call it whatever you want. And then whenever you want to go check it out, press a button, and Astro will figure out a way to get there and show you that exact viewpoint at that point in time. So that's really cool. Cargo bin is useful. I only have it carry vitamins. You can have Astro find someone in your home. Or that could work. Like the way of Astro's flashlight. Eh, I've never used this. I usually just use, yeah, no, I never use this. Good, I just never used it. Enable home monitoring when you leave, all the time. Disable home monitoring when you return, all the time. I have it linked to my ring system. Have Astro stay in place, I also have it do that. How do I know when Astro is streaming audio video cloud? What? Astro's desire to eat the screen. Stream. Oh, I see. It's just uh, how to figure out whether or not it's actually sending video out. Activate schedule, do not disturb. This is useful. I do that as well. Check on your pets anytime, anywhere. I have no pets, but also very useful. Teach Astro check specific doors and windows in your home. I think this is very useful. Set a reminder for specific people. I use this all the time. Yes. Control compatible smart home devices. Yes, I could do that, but I have Echo devices everywhere. Make routines useful with Astro and Intelligent Motion. All right, let's see what this is about. Oh, you can set up routines. You can automat automatically set up the way Astro works with Echo. Home device. Yes, that works. But I don't need Astro to do that. I could just have Echo do it. Entertainment moves with you. Yes, I do that. I have, the, yep, right. I have Astro follow around. That is useful hands free video chats on the move. Yes, I have had that. They connected friends and family. Alexa, yes, I do that. And that's the Echo. Privacy. Oh, there's a community forum that I have not visited. This is where you get the real deal. There are 231 questions. That is a long, long set of questions. Oh, you can chain Astro's voice too if you want to. But it's just basically one of the Alexa voices. Stop Astro from wandering. <laughs> yes, Astro will wander on its own. If you want him to stay in the dock, you just turn on do not disturb mode. Maybe that add more features to it. Something went wrong. Yes, I get that question a lot, but Astro's placed. Hopefully that fixes the issues that I have. Astro stop responding. Thank you. Interesting. Can I take Astro to another home temporarily? No, you can't. Astro be so confused. I really don't think so. I have one map at a time. That's right. You can, but then you got to remap and remap the whole home. So yeah, you're going away for a week. I guess if you miss Astro that much, you want Astro Patrol. Yeah, you could. Why aren't updates being as fast enough? You know why? Because there's a lot of bugs you need to fix. And actually, I feel with... It's very true. Very much alpha testing. I feel like, like they have Parson bugs. There are some, definitely some things that I've noticed that have improved that used to bug me that are now automatically resolved. Astro runs into my dog. I'll say this. Looks like this is a great way to get support. I did it using the app, but here the community support seems like not a bad idea to get questions. Yeah, I think this video is long enough. Let me know if you have any questions that maybe I can answer for someone who has had Astro for over five months. Getting close to six months. So I've had Astro for 5.75 5 months now. So I get a new Astro later this week. And uh, if there are any new issues that pop up, you'll be sure that I will make videos about it and letting Amazon know about it so that everybody gets a, a better experience once they get it, especially if they're going to be paying $1,600 for it. All right, that's it for this video. Please give it a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next one. Thanks for watching.